Hello, this is Lucian Miller from Innovative Designs, and we have another video for you guys today. Uh, we've had a couple of people ask about uh, our video that we produced for changing the bearings, and every once in a while you have a situation where you go to push a bearing out of a motor, and the bearing just comes apart, and it leaves the outer race of the bearing stuck in the motor. So in this video, we're going to show you the proper way to remove that uh, extra part from the motor, safely without damaging the motor so you can put the new bearings in it. Many times when you take your uh, your motor apart and pop the bearings out you'll get the the uh, outer bearing will come out fine and the uh, inner bearing will be fine but the, the one that's behind it will pop apart like you see here the inner race and the bearing cage popped out but the outer race is still down there inside the motor and it's a pretty tight fit in there and uh, we're going to show you now how to remove that part without uh, damaging the motor. Now the, uh, the tool that I found works best for getting these uh, bearing races out is uh, a Dremel tool with a carbide burr style cutting bit. This one here is about a 3 seconds inch diameter. Uh, anything 3 seconds or 8 inch is going to be fine. First thing you're going to want to do is clean out this area here with a Q-tip because there's some of the little little tiny balls left from the bearing in there. We want to clean that out. And the other thing that you're going to want to do is to put just a little bit of oil down in there to lubricate your cutting bit. That makes the, uh, the bit last longer. It makes it easier to cut. Now I'm going to take my Dremel tool and I've got a variable speed Dremel tool here and I've got it set uh, on about 5 out of 10 so it's running about half speed. And the way that you're going to want to come in here is to get right on the bearing race, but not get on the aluminum. If you nick the aluminum a little bit, it's not going to be that big of a deal, but the aluminum is going to cut about a hundred times faster than the steel does, because the steel race is very strong. And you just come on in here, As soon as you cut through the end, that, that race will pop out of there. And if you zoom in real close, you can see the little notch right there where it cut through. And when that happens, that releases the tension. And then the part just pops right out. Then what we're going to want to do is take a little can of compressed air, blow out the excess, clean it out with a Q-tip. And now you can see you can see a little tiny mark right there where the where the Dremel tool just nicked the aluminum, but but the uh, the part came out nice and clean. And now we can go ahead and uh, put our new bearings in, and this motor will be good to go. And here's the uh, the finished result. We've got the motor uh, nice and clean, ready to accept the new bearings. Here's the old bearings that we pulled out along with the inner race that we had before. And then here's that, that uh, outer race of the bearing that we just took out. So in order to uh, uh, figure out how to put the other bearings back in, you can look at our other video that we have online about how to change the bearings in a Scorpion motor. And that will show you the proper procedure for actually putting the bearings in. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video and got a little bit of information that will save you a little bit of grief there. Uh, be sure to check out all of our other videos uh, on YouTube. Our uh, profile is called Innovative 8 on YouTube. And you can also find them on our uh, website at www.innovativedesigns.com. And if you have an idea for a video that you'd like to see us present uh, in our video series, be sure to send an email to sales at innovativedesigns.com. And if we see an idea that we think would make a good video, we'll go ahead and produce it and put it on for you. Thanks a lot for watching, and we'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.